Hi guys. And do you good day? Um, I keep. I seem to keep getting stuck in fear. You seem to keep getting stuck in fear. I keep experiencing fear. You keep choosing to buy into negative belief systems that generate the sensation of fear. Is what you're saying? Yes. So the question is, why do you keep choosing that? It seems to happen automatically. Nope. <laughs> You may have relegated it to an automatic function, but that again is the product of a belief system, a definition that you have of your relationship to it. Okay. So why have a definition that makes it feel automatic instead of knowing that you're fully in control of what you're choosing? All you have to do is be honest and take responsibility and admit that you're choosing some negative belief systems. That's okay, because then that gives you the power to change them. If it's just automatic, you have no power over it. You can't change it. There's no control there. So don't buy into the belief system that it's automatic because it can seem that way, but you're the one making it seem that way so that you don't necessarily have to look at it. Okay. Makes sense. I believe so. So、oh, all right. When I get. What is the fear about generally or usually? Generally, it's about what other people think of me. Why do you care? I don't know. Sure, you do. Because it's about what you think of you,、mm -hmm. and they're just reflecting it to you. Because you don't necessarily have a strong belief in yourself. Well, that's true. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> so all they're doing is reflecting that to you. That's what your fear is about. That they're going to reflect to you what you believe to be true about yourself. But if you stop believing that to be true, that you're unworthy and undeserving, and I can't do this, and I'm not powerful, and all that stuff, as you say on your planet, if you stop buying into that, then it won't matter what other people reflect because you will know it's not true. Yes. Yes. So the question for you to explore is: Why do you believe that those things are true about you? What do you get out of believing that? Because、Nothing. you don't do anything, you don't believe anything if you don't believe you're getting something out of it. <clears throat> so, what are you getting out of believing that you're not good enough? I don't. Does、know. that mean you don't have to try? I don't know. All right. Well, let's explore. If you were willing to be yourself as fully as you possibly can, what do you imagine is the most terrifying thing that might happen? Being rejected by everyone. Rejected by everyone. <laughs> All seven billion people on your planet. We will have nothing to do with her. We've all gotten together and taken a vote, and she is an outcast to everyone on the planet, and maybe even on some other planets too. Now, do you believe that that will happen? That every single person on the planet will reject you? No. Ah,、oh, so that must mean there are some people who won't. Correct. True. Yes. So why don't you gravitate to those? Why don't you know that those will be the ones that can come into your life that will aid and assist and enrich your life, and the ones that don't offer that, you don't want to have anything to do with them anyway, do you? No. So then, why worry about those that reject you? Because they have nothing to do with you, and you have nothing to do with them. Because you know your worth, you know your ability, you know your self empowerment, you know your connection to source. They don't. They don't know your life. They don't know who you are. So, what difference does their opinion make when they know nothing about you? You follow? It's your opinion of yourself. It's your understanding of yourself that counts, and all they're going to do is simply reflect to you where you don't hold yourself up, where you don't value yourself. But once you do, then the people that attempt to devalue you will be like simply shouting into a hurricane. It will be for naught because you will know it's not true. Your winds of truth will overpower anything they have to say. Because you will know that what they're saying has nothing to do with you. It has to do with them at that point, and their issues that they may be afraid to look at. 
And that's why you can come back and reflect compassion to them, knowing that they may also still be struggling with issues of self-worth within themselves, because you've been there. You understand it. You know what it looks like. You can recognize it. Mm -hmm. And now you can be compassionate enough to say, yes, I understand. I've had that experience. But you know what I discovered? I am worthy. I am valuable. I am powerful. I am who I am. Therefore, you can give them the reflection that they may be looking for to help them decide to value themselves. Is this making some sense? Yes. Is this helping you at all? 